Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. My name is Dave Hayes and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech. Now I have done a couple videos in the past on my DJI Mavic Mini and uh, I got some accessories for it and I thought I would do a video on it and uh, what the accessories are are little odds and ends that are supposed to enhance the Mavic Mini in such a way that basically allows me to use different types of cameras um, it gets it up off the ground so that the props aren't hitting grass if the grass isn't cut short enough little things like that so so what we're gonna do is in this video we are going to show you what I purchased and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on whether or not you should be purchasing any of these products now just because these products may or may not work for me uh, does not mean that you are going to have the exact same results. So uh, just remember that. I would say for the cost of most of the items I'm going to show you in this video, it's worth buying it and trying it out for yourself. So without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and get into this video? And as always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button and share my videos. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. Uh, basically what we're going to do today is we are going to fly my DJI Mavic drone. And what's so cool about what we're going to do today is I got uh, some attachments for it. And uh, I want to see if this drone will have the capability to actually fly, do everything it's supposed to do with all of these attachments. And let me tell you what, these attachments weigh a ton. Um, we're talking about almost um, three quarters of the weight of the drone itself. So this drone has to lift off, it has to fly, it has to carry a GoPro Hero 7 on it, uh, the bracket holding the GoPro, and a bunch of other things that I got. Uh, fold up legs, all, you know, the legs get it up out of the grass, um, things like that. So where we're at today is up at the Foster Joseph Sayers Dam, or what we like to call, Noah and I like to call, and the whole family, uh, this is the Howard Dam. And I thought this would be a good place to fly because I gotta be careful adding all this extra weight and stuff on it, it may actually cause it to fly a little kooky. So, we want to be careful. I'm going to be recording both with the DJI Mavic and with the GoPro Hero 7 Black attached on top of it. So what do you say we go ahead and bring the cameras over here and I'll show you all of the items that I purchased and how they go on. Okay, so here we are. Uh, here's my DJI Mavic. Now I wanted to show you some of the accessories I got. Right here is the accessory that actually clips on uh, to the drone and allows me to attach um, my GoPro to it. So this is, the, this is one of the things that I purchased, and uh, I'll go ahead and open this up. Um, now, these are little legs <laughs> right here. So I don't know, let me, you guys can see these little legs here. Uh, these are, you know, these all will go on this DJI, and I'm not going to go through every little thing, uh, but let's just say I purchased these little legs to lift the drone up, and I purchased this to attach a camera to it. Uh, I did order some other items for the DJI. They haven't come yet. Uh, I did. I purchased a case for this thing, extra batteries, charger, stuff like that. But for now, we are concerned with the legs and, of course, the attachment that allows me to put my GoPro <laughs> on here for an extra camera. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys see me putting this all together, and then we're going to take it out and fly it. Now, what's nice about this attachment for the camera, it has a quarter by 20 screw on the bottom of it that you could actually attach a cheaper GoPro or whatever will screw into that. Now you may have to actually cut these uh, little wings off that allows you to use GoPro accessories but you know this thing only costs like eight dollars you know so you could actually cut these off use this as a quarter by 20 attachment and then just buy another one and use 
you know, use the regular attachment, you know, for all your GoPro products if you wanted to do that. Just, just saying that. But we're gonna run it like this. I'm gonna get the items out of here. This is the, you're gonna have that. And uh, my phone is uh, in here. So you can go ahead, take the phone out of the case, get everything set up. I'm gonna get these legs. We're gonna put the legs on it as well. Grab the DJI Mavic out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unfold it. You have to fold these wings out first. Like this. Then fold these ones out. Yep, you do it right the first time. Okay, so now again, this has like little feet on it, but it doesn't get it up off the ground high enough. So if it's in grass that's not cut really, really short, your blades are gonna drag, it just sucks. So uh, that's what I bought these little feet for. These go on the front and they just snap on like this. Just like that. Put this one in. this now the back ones are harder to get on okay. <laughs> okay guys see how I did that I I had these on backwards they actually come out and cover the axles the end of the axles like that so that is on right now just like that and you fold these down like that fold these down like this grab the back and like this if I can get it that is how it's supposed to be set up just like that and that's basically how it's supposed to sit just like that now the uh, the camera actually snaps onto the top and you want to kind of put this little uh, thing to the back and these little hooks go in a groove underneath and I, I think it's a cooling groove but you have so many different cooling grooves it doesn't really matter so basically I'm going to take this and snap it on. So we're just going to get it started. Slide it forward. <laughs> I brought it back too far to begin with. Okay. All right. And that's it, guys. That is how it sits on the DJI Mavic, just like that. And uh, I want to make sure I have this positioned so that it shoots straight out. I don't want to take pictures of the rotating blades. So we are ready to go. So as soon as Noah gets the controller all set up, we are going to go flying. Okay, everybody, we are back out, out from underneath the picnic table. It's actually cloudy. I was hoping for a nice clear day, but it doesn't matter. This is going to be just a test, right, Noah? To see if this thing's even going to fly. So let's go ahead. We're going to get everything powered up. First thing I'm gonna do is power on the GoPro. GoPro's on. I am going to hit record. GoPro's recording. Now I'm gonna power on the DJI Mavic. Are you ready now? Because we gotta, okay, it's on. On. Let it connect. Come on up closer so it connects. Do we have any, what to say? If you're in yellow. Oh, okay, so everything's ready to go. We are ready to go. Okay, now, it, it looks like it's doing okay. It's hovering, it's holding its position. What? That's what I'm saying, that's the issue I had the other day. Maximum altitude reach. Okay, see if it'll just fly. Yeah, just see if you can go forward and backward. That's fine. What'd you say? Home point updating, check it on that. Okay, try to fly out and then come back. Okay, so this is what I thought. Um, when I was flying this the other day at home, testing it, because I, I had to test it, uh, I was having issues with it, letting me fly.
All right, so what he's gonna do is he's going to land this thing and uh, we're just going to take the GoPro off of it, take it back up and make sure that it's, you know, maybe it's dead. I just wanna make sure that the GoPro isn't causing these issues. Okay, so we had a maximum altitude. I, <laughs> that was my bad. I don't know why that happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap the GoPro back on here again. Snap her holes and hit record. It is all recording. Go ahead. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> okay, try it again. All right, now see if you can go up higher. So it is still doing some really weird stuff. No, I doubt that. Okay, so um, go ahead and bring it back towards us. Do some nice cinematic uh, footage. And what we're going to do is actually I want to bring it down, take the camera off of it, fly it while we still have battery power without the camera. Okay, hey, now take it for another flight. Okay, so we do not have the camera on it now. We're gonna see if it flies any different. This is a lot of weight, guys. Uh, this camera probably, um, like I said, this camera almost weighs as much as the drone itself. The drone probably is like maybe, uh, I don't wanna say double the weight of this, but you know, this is pretty heavy. Now, I do have um, some other action cameras I could probably send up. We're going to probably do, we're probably going to do that in a different video. Uh, I just wanted to see, since the GoPro is the heaviest of all of my action cameras, I wanted to see how the GoPro would work on this. Now, as I thought, it's got its limitations. So um, I'm probably going to throw my uh, my Acaso V50 Pro on since, in my opinion, that is my next best uh, camera. 
uh, in the action camera you know realm so we're gonna be throwing that on in a different video and see if we can get some uh, some shots with it like that but uh, again the reason I wanted to do this was I wanted to see how well this works and it, it does work um, again I think the GoPro is a little bit heavy maybe the GoPro Hero 8 is a little lighter than this one so maybe the GoPro Hero 8 will work better or maybe even some of the older GoPros um, but you know uh, we'll have to see but it does work you just can't take it up very high uh, and it is I think in my opinion a little jerky um, but all of the attachments I purchased for it seems to be working great so there you go um, it's uh, it seems to be working so um, I'm gonna let Noah play around with the GoPro a little bit here and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and close up this video
Okay, well, you guys got a chance to see uh, what it looked like when it was flying outside. Uh, what I want to do in this part is uh, I wanted to show you. Um, this is the box that the DJI comes with. It comes in a box like this, um, and I basically keep everything in this cardboard box. It's ripped up. It looks like it. It, it just looks like hell. Um, now. I do have on order a carrying case, which is kind of like one of those heavy-duty Pelican cases. Uh, it is guaranteed against water, against uh, drops over 20 feet. So my guess is they're thinking if an airline uh, drops your luggage, you're not going to damage your drone. Um, so as soon as I get those products in, I will be showing you uh, that as well and giving you my thoughts on that. Now what made me decide to do another video on my DJI drone? Uh, number one, I love this drone. It has changed the way I do videos, I, I, and, and I love to play with it. Guys, when you were younger, you liked to play with, you know, most guys like to play with race cars and, uh, you know, and, and toy boats, stuff like that. Well, you put a motor on that thing, especially if it can fly with no strings attached, yeah, I'm all on it. And, uh, and this Mavic is just so freaking cool. Plus, it gives me a camera. Okay, um, now what I didn't show you outside was all of the items that you know I purchased for this. And what I wanted to just go over it real quick. Um, here is the attachment for the GoPro. Uh, as you guys can see, it's just, I'm, I'm guessing they use one of those, uh, uh, those plastic 3d building machines and they just build it out of plastic it cost me eight dollars um, and like I said in the video if you don't want to use the GoPro rig on it you don't have to unscrew that pop that off and then I would just cut these three little ridges on here off I don't know if you can see that I just cut them off these ridges right here and then just use the quarter by 20 thread because uh, my one camera and I don't have it here <laughs> I got that I was gonna get my camera out here because I wanted to specifically show that all right I went out to try to get my uh, camera bag to show you my other cameras and well I can't find it and God I'm telling you guys that's the one thing I hate the most about this uh, my last stroke that I got uh, was my short-term memory I have to write everything down I hate it anyways enough about me back to this um, I did purchase some items, and uh, I want to talk about each one of them. Now, you guys got to see how it looks like, uh, you know, when it flies on top of the drone. Uh, notice, even with the stabilization that the GoPro Hero 7 Black has, and it's pretty damn good, it did not look very stable on top of my, uh, on top of my drone. And that drone it really flies stable. Um... Now, the GoPro Hero 8 Black may actually do a better job, but I don't have a GoPro Hero 8 Black to test on this. Also, I do believe the GoPro Hero 8 Black is actually lighter than the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So that may also aid in its stability, but, you know, it is what it is. All I can tell you is I probably won't be using this much. Um, where I will be using it is to face the camera backwards so I can have both a front view and a back view. Now, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is in the video, you noticed that we kept losing. Uh, we couldn't go any higher. It kept giving us warnings saying you can't go higher, you can't go here. Uh, that was because not of the drone, but because we didn't have the settings set for maximum height and stuff like that. I didn't have that set right. But I will say that when we were flying with this camera attached to it, it was flying very erratic. Some of the things that I was used to doing with this drone, I, I could no longer do. It just, it was just too, too wonky and too unreliable. But again, um, it's nice because you can attach another camera to it. And as long as you don't need to take it out, you know, as far as I did before, which is, you know, like a mile, uh, I think it'll work just fine for you. Now, uh, one of the other items that I purchased for it was these right here and these are basically little motor covers and what they do is they keep the dust and debris from getting down into the windings on your motor now I took the propellers off of my DJI Mavic Mini and I did put these on and they are and I'll tell you what they're it seems like they are made of high quality material uh, it is not plastic 
It is made of, it feels like a tin kind of a material. Uh, but the problem is, at least how I see it, they do not fit very snug on top of the motor. So, and there's nothing holding this down but the propellers themselves. So, would it have worked? Yeah, it would have probably worked. But I would have rather liked this to fit a little snugger so they kind of like snapped on top of the motor. And then, you know, the propellers would hold it down more like a secondary uh, feature. But, so, I mean, that's why I'm not going to fly with them. Um, maybe the ones that DJI sells, because they do sell motor covers. Uh, of course, they're two to maybe three times the cost of this one. Uh, maybe that would have worked better. And again, I think I'm going to go ahead and spend the money and try them out. But uh, this one here costs like six bucks. And um, it, this was a, a no winner for me. So this, this is not going to go on my DJI Mavic Mini. All right, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about? Oh, the legs. <laughs> the legs. Um, the one thing that I purchased that I have to say I really, really like are these um, foldable legs that go on top of, or that go on the legs on your DJI Mavic Mini. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and unfold this. you got to remember to do it in the right way. Them first, then this, then that. The way these work is the ones that go on the front, they just basically slide right up over like this and lock into place. And you couldn't see that. I, I was shaking so bad. <laughs> of course, I shake pretty bad now, too. But uh, they just slide into place like this. And they they just slide in and they just kind of... It's a friction fit. And it's such a nice, tight fit that they will not come off unless you pull it off. And then basically all you do is fold that down and lock it into place. It extends the legs of your, uh, of your drone by about three-quarters of an inch. So it gets it up off the ground about three-quarters of an inch, which is great because... Like I said, what really kills this is when the grass isn't cut low enough. Then I have to look for a uh, concrete surface to set it on or stones. And I hate taking off in stones because of the dust that gets kicked up by the rotors. Um, now the back ones actually go on. They, You'll see it has a little round cap on the top of it. I don't know if you can see that. But that little round cap... And, uh, goes around the leg back here so it just basically pops on like that just like that see and then now and guys for those of you that are going to post in the video comments below man you shake like a dog shit and razor blade guys <laughs> those of you that watch my videos already know i've had two strokes my second stroke really caused me to shake a ton so go ahead and get your comments out whatever back to this um, now once you snap that on um, these legs will fold right down like that and again it gives you about an extra three quarters of an inch height from the ground up those are what I have now what else did I order I did order a carrying case for this the one you purchased from DJI I think is a little bit on the expensive side for what you get for a carrying case I decided to go ahead and purchase one from a uh, company that was not from DJI. And uh, this case cost me, I think it was $34. Um, but again, like I said, unlike the DJI case, which is not rated uh, to be thrown, you know, or anything like that, um, this the case that I'm getting is actually rated uh, to be unbreakable. So it says that uh, it will protect your, uh, your items or your, your Mavic Mini uh, from any throws. If, if somebody throws your Mini or drops it from a great height. So that's going to be cool. I can't wait to show you guys that. Um, the other items that I purchased uh, were... I can't remember what all I purchased now. Um, I got the case. Oh, uh, I ordered an extra battery for this and I ordered a battery charger. So I can plug both these batteries in and it uh, charges it. It's supposed to charge it quicker than uh, what it charges when you charge it inside the drone itself. We'll see. Uh, I'll let you guys know how that works out. Um, those items as well, the battery was I think around $45 and the charger was about $30 I think it was. So it's something like that. 
it was something I needed um, because I can't keep carrying this in the cardboard box that it came in. Uh, it's unprofessional and it doesn't protect it. So um, do I care about me being unprofessional? No, I don't care. But you know, uh, it doesn't protect it and I do want to keep it protected. Now, um, one thing I did want to bring up about the DJI Mavic Mini. I tried putting that little clear bubble that comes with it that protects the camera back on this uh, whenever I put it away to, you know, to keep from damaging the camera. And every time I snap that on, no matter how careful I am, uh, whenever I take it back off, I always get an issue with the um, image stabilization not working again. The camera will lock up in one position or it'll, it'll shoot up in the air and, and I'm done. So I don't use it anymore. Um, I'm just very careful how I am when I put it away, uh, and what sucks is I have to clean off the lens a lot now. Now, uh, if I could get one more item for this, what would it be? Uh, it would be those little lens covers that you can put on these The filters out some of the sunlight. Um, they, if The good ones, believe me, you can buy a set of like three for like $40. But the ones that are really, really good, that, have, that are uh, a name brand um, product and that everybody out in the YouTube land keep recommending, uh, they're over $100. Um, you can get them on sale for about 75 bucks sometimes. But again, that's a lot of money for me to come up with for my drone. But I think eventually I am going to go ahead and get them because with the upgrade to the DJI Mavic that was just pushed out, I can now manually change a lot of settings in this camera now so uh, you know I can change my ISO uh, all kinds of things that you can do with this and really get that uh, professional look um, out of the DJI Mavic Mini okay well um, I think I've kept you guys way longer than what I should have but uh, for those of you that stuck around this long uh, thank you very much for the rest of you I just want to thank you very much for watching uh, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep the comments coming. I'm planning on doing a video uh, where I go over a lot of the comments uh, that you guys post. Um, and it'll be a comments answering video. So uh, maybe we'll start it under this one. If you guys have any uh, questions you want me to answer on my next video, post them below. All right, with that being said, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing, uh, especially if you learned anything from, from me. Um, that's all I have. Thank you all, and I will see you on the next one.